for our set folks. Right here. <coughs> so it looks like it's seven o'clock, point nine o'clock. All right. I'd like to call to order the uh, town of uh, the village of Woodstock Board of Village Trustees meeting of July 9th, 2019 at 7 o'clock. Um, I'd like to start with uh, citizens' comments, if there are any out there. Yes, Joe, do you talk? Well, I, I don't see any on the agenda that um, where we speak about the trash cans or an update on Teagle. Um, I, I, I expected that there might be. Uh, I don't know when you want to handle that, Jeff. Now or later or when? Well, we can put that in old business, Joe. Okay, whatever you like. Since it's already been discussed, sure. we will bring it up there. Okay. Okay. Any other citizens' comments? If not, I'd like to change the order of additions to and deletions from the posted agenda slightly. Uh, I'd like to start with a request for permission to do night work for line markings in the village. And I think uh, Ray Bourgeois is going to speak to that. Um, I talked to Ken, and we haven't, tr you know, it's tough to get people in here to paint the lines, the walkways, the parking, and everything. So if we could let get permission to do this at night, it's not a noisy project. It's, you know, you might hear a little spray gun or a small motor. But if we could come in here and do this at night, and I'm not sure if that would help get us get the lines done sooner, mm -hmm. but it's an option um, that I'd like to be able to, you know, talk to Phil and Ken about and just say, now we have this option to do it at night. Until what time? I would say they'd probably come in here at midnight when there's the least amount of traffic, paint the lines and get out. And it may be, it, it may take, it, it definitely will take less time than doing it during the day when I have to, deal with the traffic. Mm -hmm. Don't, uh, I, just in discussion, I would think that this <coughs> time of year and without, uh, without Bentley's being open at night, at least in the d downtown part of the village, you could start before midnight. They, they would do it at night. They would do it, that's when they come in, at, at late at night, early in the morning, maybe four or five o'clock in the morning. No, I'm saying it could be done. They don't have to start that late. We also don't know that they will. We, we don't know if they'll do it. We don't know if they're willing to do it. Just I just wouldn't want to say you can't do it until before that's midnight. Right. right. That's what you I'm know, saying. They, they make, I don't know how they would do it here. I know in, in, when I dealt with them in Massachusetts, they would come in 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, anecdotally, I've personally witnessed two or three pedestrians in nearly Oh, very poor sure. accidents because the things are unmarked. Yeah, so I know. would I would encourage us to allow it. Well, let's do it without a time limit. As fast as we can. Whenever. As fast as we can. Um, uh, can do we have a motion to approve? I absolutely make a motion to allow for whenever you can get it done time-wise that those lines be painted for the safety of everybody here. I'll second. Any further discussion on this? Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, okay. Thank, Thank you, Ray. Thank, Thank you, Ray. Ray. Let's hope we can so, get this all done. done. Thanks, Ray. Next up, uh, Lincoln Street. John King, uh, a new street name. Uh, 25 Lincoln Street has been approved for two new buildings, which will make a total of three off of the existing driveway. Um, so there, we need a, uh, a new name, and uh, Watkins Way has been proposed. He was the original owner of the building way back when. Um, uh, I'd entertain a motion to. I'm, I make a motion to allow um, John King to, or whoever has to be named, Watkins Way as the new road um, oh, for Lincoln Street. I'll second now. Okay, so just to clarify a little bit, we're not. <laughs> wording was a little odd, but. Sorry. Your intent was good. Um, so 25 Lincoln Street, um, w the new buildings that are being put on there, that road, that driveway will now become a road that uh, Watkins Way is Do what I you, yes. that clarification? Is that what you said? The word as um, the, as the driveway formerly known as 25 Lincoln Street will now be now known be as uh, Watkins, uh, Watkins Way PBT. Thank, thank you for correcting my English mistake. All those in favor as amended? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. 
Uh, okay, legal uh, notice of intent to adopt interim zoning bylaws. Okay, so just so everybody knows, last night we had a joint meeting with the select board, and during that meeting, the village trustees uh, decided to uh, approve uh, um, a moratorium of approximately two months um, on new permits for short term housing in the village. That pa motion passed. However, we have ascertained afterwards that um, this was not legally done, that in fact we needed to uh, warn this as a meeting specifically on that topic, which would require uh, another uh, minimum of 15 days notice um, from the point we, that we warn it. And uh, after that, that we could then decide whether we wanted to go forward with um, a short-term moratorium while we discuss uh, changes in any of the short-term rental regulations with the, for the Planning Commission to um, uh, consider. <coughs> and so, given the delay, I'd just like to state to the rest of the trustees that the amount of delay involved when we are looking to have this happen as quickly as possible. Uh, it no longer, to me, makes sense to ask for a moratorium um, of new permits because um, that it, it can't happen quickly anyway. We can't stop that from occurring. Um, so I would suggest that we simply move forward with our idea of giving our, uh, our thoughts to the uh, Planning Commission on changes we would, might like to see, and I, and I suggest that that could still be done through me as chair. Um, I would appreciate the, the trustees all giving me their ideas and going forward. I'm open to uh, people disagreeing with this, but I think that uh, it does not make sense at this point to go through with this uh, process given what had occurred today. So I'm just reading through all of these emails. And yes. does it, did we just use poor wording? No. In the motion? Because it seems like we could do uh, an interim by draft. No, let me start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. The public notice that gets posted around town and published in the newspaper <coughs> has to say in bonehead English that you're considering adopting interim bylaws that contain a moratorium on short term rentals. And ours did not say that. Correct. So yesterday's, I believe, talked about <coughs> reviewing comments from the week before. And the week before agenda talked about taking comments. Mm. So you got to, essentially, if something as important as property rights, you got to hit them in the head with a two by four. And then they can't say they didn't know what it meant. So what is the process for establishing, for drafting and adopting new ordinances for this? Okay. So if you go forward, the VLCT strongly recommends that you hire an attorney to get the wording right because of property rights. And then what's the timeline for implementing those new ordinances? I think you're talking about two different things. Yeah. Right, so if he drafts a new ordinance. Yeah. The attorney drafts a new the ordinance. The attorney drafts a new ordinance. Like how long do we have to announce that? How do we have to warn it? What's the timeline? That's just to have a public meeting. Right, well this is what I'm asking. What's okay. the process? 15 days. A minimum of 15 days after that occurs. After we receive the draft. After the warning, warning is put out to the public. Out. After you go to public meeting. No, you would, if you so. did it, you would sign a warning tonight that on date XYZ, you will take this up and possibly adopt in terms of so everybody knows. So the reason why this is not, <coughs> last night's vote is not valid is because it was the, it was the way that it was warned in the agenda? Yeah. Okay. Also on top of that, after you guys adopt those regulations, it's a 60 day unless it's an emergency, right, Phil? Sally knows better than I on that. It is 30 days. Is it 30 well, days? That's 
Yeah, that's different. That's after yeah. 30 days. Is it 30 days for that? It's 30 days. How was it, a, war, a moratorium was brought up in both all the meetings, so how was it worded so that it, we're not at the point where we can do this now? Because it was just discussion. You were discussing moratorium. You weren't. Yeah. It had a gel to the point of considering. And I will, I will add that was the, when, when the Planning Commission changed the regulation like we did with the short-term rental in the five-acre zoning, once the Planning Commission votes on it, it is, a, it is in effect. So the Select Board then has 180 days to act on our decision. I'm not sure if the same thing is true about the trustees. I believe so. But the point is that once you actually <coughs> vote on an interim zoning, I believe that it is in effect. So even though there's still a warning period and a public comment period, it is in effect from the time you vote on it, if it, is, if it follows that same criteria that it does for the Planning Commission. <coughs> and what's the public comment period? That's not 180, 180 days. That's no, no, that's the 30 days. It's 30 days. Joe? Yeah, well, I have a question. I'm a little confused on, on, on the issue a little bit. Um, a couple of select board meetings ago, uh, the meeting got very passionate on both sides. And the issue, from my understanding, the issue at hand was whether or not to adopt a moratorium. Now, this is, this is where I'm a little confused and I could use a little clarification. If the select board that night had adopted a moratorium, they didn't, but if they had, would it have been in effect that night or what would have been the process then? I think, I think it would have been invalid for the same reason. Oh, it, it would have been invalid. invalid for the same reason this would have been invalid. I see. Invalid, okay. Somebody. And we didn't realize it, but we, yeah. uh, uh, Phil consulted with both the Vermont League of Cities and Towns and the Otakwichi Two yeah. Rivers Planning Commission. So that passion was... And they both said, yeah. this, is, this is how you have to do it, and there's a, yeah. waiting, a waiting period. I just, I just don't see the advantage of oh. doing the moratorium anymore. I mean, uh, last night, <coughs> I could see the argument more than I see it now that we have to wait. Jeff, prior to tonight, I would have agreed with you, you know, learning now and knowing now what we have learned about the process. Um, I wouldn't have bothered if I hadn't learned that. But it, that's a moot point because you have to wait. Yes, you have to go through a process. So we can either, um, there's a, uh, uh, I forget the right wording, to reconsider yeah, that motion. Voted. We can but reconsider it in uh, two directions. We can reconsider it to say we uh, rescind it, or we can reconsider it to say we want to follow this new procedure yeah, that's right. and, and have a vote on whether to have a moratorium or not after a public meeting, which has to take place at least two weeks from now. Yeah. So, so I would move that in light of this, which seems absurd, I would move that we rescind the vote from last night and that we um, that we move to, to hire the VLCT to draft a new ordinance to submit to the Planning Commission for immediate consideration. Is that how we should word that? No, that would be us that would be yeah, submitted yeah, to that. that. It wouldn't be the VLCT. It would be no, us be and the select board. Oh, so we hire, uh, we don't use their attorney. We don't need to we hire anybody. Attorney, yeah. No, it would be us to submit our But they, they suggest that we hire, a, we hire an attorney. They were draft. very adamant that he was an attorney. No, right. Just okay. to make sure that the writing was, the, the verbiage was And I understand that this would be split with the select board. Day. So we don't need to well, use the VLCT Or attorney. maybe. No, they didn't, they're not going moratorium. No, no, this is if we don't do moratorium. Okay. This is just for the ordinance. All right. Well, I think that, honestly, I think that at this point, even trying to coordinate with the select board is slowing us down further. Let's just move as quickly as possible. So let's move as quickly as possible. I move to hire an attorney to draft an ordinance to submit to the... Is that what VLCT said? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. said that's to write the wording for the moratorium, not for the. Okay, board. I don't have it in front right. of me. They did not say we needed an attorney to to have our suggestions for the planning commission. Yeah. Uh, I, I, the I, I, I just keep hearing Phil say we do need an attorney to draft to draft a, a moratorium. 
to draft a moratorium. The moratorium, right. Right, not, to, not for okay. us to move forward with. No, the planning so commission, you've planning. done all that work for 100 years without an attorney. Yeah, so where are you in that process? Right. We're still collecting information. So okay. at this point, we were we were waiting for that public meeting to see if there was anything that came out of it. All right. And but at this point, we want to get ours to them before their August 3rd meeting. Yes, that would be our suggestion. Our suggestion. So, so let me ask okay. okay. so a But we have a, we have a motion on, uh, I'd like to hear a second. We can continue discussing it. Second. Uh, Carrie seconds. Carrie's motion that we rescind last night's uh, motion. So, yeah. Further discussion. I just want to say that I think since the moratorium was brought up so frequently, yeah. I think I, I would like to avoid something like this happening in the future yeah, and sure. to be sure that, you know, if we're, if we're considering adopting a moratorium or an intermittent, uh, yeah, interim zoning ordinance that we should have we should have the procedure in place to do so sure, especially if we're taking public comment on it it seems silly well, no that's a good idea absolutely right. <coughs> so so basically if we're looking for the planning commission to potentially one thing would be making new permits only one year and if you're serial violent, whatever you think right but something like more. that we don't need anybody to draft it up you guys can just do it They'll be doing the drafting. Right. So these would not be interim bylaws. They would be new ordinances. New ordinances. And then they what's the timeline for that? The immediate. Short term right no. rules. No, no, no. Once, no once but if the sooner we get it to them, the sooner they can consider adding it to what they already have. So anytime process. we make a zoning change, we have to have a public hearing. So it, so we will warn, once we have the <coughs> language in place, then we vote on it. And you'll have to check with Michael Barons about the exact process, but we vote on it. And once it has been approved by the Planning Commission, we still need to have a public hearing on it. I don't know when that, when it becomes in effect. I believe it's as soon as we vote on it, which is what happened with the other short-term rental. But then we still have to have a 30-day period for public comments before the Planning Commission has their public meeting. It then goes to you, I believe, for final approval as the village trustees. Yeah. Right. This is so that's another, and that's another 30, and that's days. Another 30 right. days. So it's, six, so it's 60 days from the time the Planning Commission actually votes on anything to I actually think it's not what we understood. or have it be permanent. However, it is in effect once the Planning Commission votes on it. But in how long? We have, well, I believe it's 180 days. But for you guys to, to, to draft? Anymore. You know, we've been talking about it for a while and there's a, there's a lot of differences of opinions mm -hmm. out there, so it's not going to be an easy yeah, right. rewrite. This is why. Well, right, but they can do a smaller portion of it. They don't have to do a mass Sooner thing. Better. But no, we would just be rewriting the short-term rental ordinances. Yeah. But it, it, yes, we want to do a complete job. I mean, we're not, I mean, we really want to do it properly. Oh, and the, the main it's thing is concern it, is that it has to be enforceable. We have to figure <coughs> out a way to make sure that's enforceable, and that's what's happening right now. If the it's not. select board and the trustees got all of our comments and stuff to you before your next meeting, like, say we got it to you by Friday, what do you foresee the timeline being for finishing up? I, I you know, I, this, is, this is all new to me, and I can't say. Our next meeting is um, the first Wednesday of August, so it's um, August 7th. We have a meeting next week, but um, we were not. We, we cannot keep talking about short-term rentals. We have some other business we're taking care of next week. So if you get comments to us before our August 7th meeting, that would be fine. And yeah. it, usually we try to get them in about a week ahead of time so that we can get um, comments. Can we warn for that meeting anyway August to be 7th. an open meeting? On August 7th? Right? Yeah. Oh, it's always They're always an open meeting. meeting. So then why, it, why do you have to have another open forum meeting? I'm After, and once they announce what an ordinance changes, there has to then be a public. Oh, it's the same issue so that you just ran into is that you have to have the wording let the public know what what the public me what the meeting is about. So, could so you have to have the wording in place. The purpose of the 18th and the last meeting that we had was just to something? gather input on, on, the, on the subject. Both of them were just to gather input. No, the first one was to gather input from the community, and the second one was for the board to kind of recap what it all meant. But both mentioned a moratorium. So and we still can't vote on it. I don't have the minutes. So I, I would silly. like to I would like to rescind my previous motion. <laughs> oh, no, right now we have to vote on it.
because it's, yeah. uh, it's been for, uh, made um, and seconded. I do have a question and because I warned <coughs> in your agenda it states public information hearing, but I warned a public hearing in the paper that says public hearing notice um, for the 27th, and that is a public hearing. I'm not sure. Which, which is what? What? Of, of June. June. That was a public hearing. Okay. That was a, pu a public hearing. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. So, which is well, why I thought we could vote on it. Yes. But was the moratorium thing well, on the agenda well, as something that was going to be voted on? The topic was input on short term rentals. That's not enough. It was very you want broad. Word for we, word we, what it we, says. we want to hear from both sides of the story. Can you read the word town word? of Woodstock Select Board and the Village of Woodstock Trustees will hold a public hearing regarding a possible moratorium on short term rentals while new short term rental regulations are considered to be held on June 27, 2019 at 7 p.m. in the town hall. Sounds pretty good. Okay, that's, 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 that's not a few by four. I don't know what it is. Village Trustee Chairperson. Well, so, and then you didn't take action that night. No. And then the following you. week, you recapped. Uh, so instead of saying recap, it should have said something along the lines of the village trustees and the select board will We're voting vote. on this. But that wasn't two weeks anyway, was right. it? Yeah. I can slide that language up Still to the attorney tomorrow. Done. I feel like we should be able well, to vote on it today. Gonna, I have a question. Oh, this is just delaying us. This, this, this is getting a little bit confusing. So this, what you're talking about is establishing a pause so that, so that you can look <coughs> intelligently at what's going on and establish permanent rules to be in place for the future. That's what the moratorium is about. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking, this is what I'm getting, correct me if I'm wrong, now you're talking about going to the planning commission to create this pause, and that, no, that to create no, the pause no, is going to no, take no, 60 no. days? No, we're, we're discussing, discussing, it from our pause. We're discussing just skipping the pause altogether because it oh. sounds like okay. we haven't okay. gone through the correct process. It just made, didn't make, process, you want to, yeah, I got it. To have Today we were told that the process was wrong. That's as simple yeah. as that. Okay. Okay. okay, got it. And in here until it was enough. I thought we were going to have a pause to, to establish a pause. That's, that's no. What? And if we okay. don't do it exactly to the letter of the law, the whole thing can be challenged at some point. Moved. So uh, I'm, con I'm, I'm just concerned about the whole, th the whole thing. Uh, it, it just doesn't seem to make sense that we don't do anything to me. Why? I, my concern is that the Planning Commission is going to take far longer than 60 days to get these new ordinances in place. And I know you're saying there are only one or two or three new short-term rental applications on the docket, yes. but in a neighborhood street of only 10 or 12 houses, that's a big number. Yes. In a village of not that many houses, that is a significant number. And if it takes the Planning Commission three months, four months, five months, they have other things on their agenda as well, then that's that many more short-term rental applications that are approved. But that's part of the problem that we're going to be hurting people who need those because if they, if the, if the the slowdown happens so it could be three years before they come up with something. If a moratorium would put a fire under that yeah. to get it done sooner. It would it? I don't know. I, I think so rather than nothing. Salad. I would. She said that they're already at a standstill because they're already have differences, too many differences of opinions going on in their meetings anyway. You're not on a Isn't that what you just said? No, I said there's a lot of information and a lot yeah. of information is coming to us. Yeah. But we, and we don't have all the facts necessarily either. So I think we need the pause will allow them some much needed time, it sounds like, to gather a little exactly. bit more information exactly. and for us to make a cogent decision about what the ordinances should say. I think that would make it even slower. So are we I, I, listen, I, I think it make it even slower. I'm pretty sure I heard her say that they have too many differences of opinions before. I don't know if you could just that. She said that there's lots of information and different. Sally, what's the and different you opinions? Think like possible? Not, Do you think you could come up with some for September, your September meeting? Uh, you know, uh, just just relating to short-term rentals. Uh, yeah, yeah. If this was made uh, important I'm just one for. Person on a board of I understand. It's not always easy to come to a consensus. So I'm not going to promise that we can do it by September uh, without discussing it with and the rest of the board. Promise, right. I mean, we could certainly work on it and, and, and see what we can come up with, but I'm not making any promises about September. I, I'm, just, I'm just uncomfortable 
passing out permits that have regulations that n neither the trustees or the select board support and so have no teeth in, in Right, so what we should do is just come up with a, well, how do you call that, um, a motion to go back to the moratorium and then we vote on it and see what you guys want to do. So I, may I rescind my previous motion? Yes. Okay. So I move to authorize the village's attorney to prepare a draft interim bylaw establishing through appropriate mechanisms a moratorium on new short-term rentals as defined in sections 109 and 522 of the Village of Woodstock zoning regulations, which shall be considered for adoption by the trustees in accordance with authority and procedures contained in 24 VSA 4415. If adopted, said interim bylaw shall remain in effect for a period of 60 days from the date of adoption unless, uh, to allow the Planning Commission to develop amended permanent land use regulations pertaining to short-term rentals unless otherwise extended by the trustees or appealed in a manner provided by law. I'll second that. No okay. discussion, right? What? No. Discussion. Yes, discussion. Is there a limit on your, on what, on the moratorium that you're... That's 60, 60 days. days. 60 days. So, so it only lasts unless, 60 days. Unless, unless, we just, unless we all vote together to extend it. And then you got to go through a process. And then there's a process. Then there's a process. So, so, so this make, would basically mean that, it's that, it's it's that what we you voted on last longer? night I would do be in effect. guys make that in effect. decision, not me. But you suggest that. It seems 60 is kind of short. Thin. So we're d in doing this, in doing this, this is a suggested motion without being drafted by a lawyer. That was drafted by a lawyer. This one was. Okay. Yeah. So that's good language then. This can't be challenged. Well everybody's I don't know. Okay. You know you that looked good to me. Okay. So what what timeline sounds more reasonable to you? Or you I think you should pick a date longer than sixty. Ninety, one twenty. Yeah. Uh, amend my motion for no. 120 days. I, absolutely against that. You know, it, you know, to have a to have a moratorium that long. We voted for 60 days last night. I would support going back to that, and I would I would I would vote for that again because I voted for it last night. But um, I don't I don't think we should go for. So yes, Sally. So currently, you're putting a motion in place to warn it. Is this for your next meeting, or when is this? When is this? hearing for this motion going to be held? There's not going to be a hearing. It's been determined that the hearing on June, June 27th was sufficient. Yeah. We think. We I got it there. We think. Yeah. We think. Well, and so we, we are putting back in place, basically, in, in stronger wording, legal wording, what we voted on last night, which is a 60, a two-month moratorium. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think All the right. planning commission is going to need more than two months from last night. How long? I would say, I would say, three months is possible. But I mean, we just we haven't even really discussed it yet. So. Well, you know, I, I would suggest that you guys discuss at the next meeting, and then and then and then come and then at your at your follow the following meeting. Come on, you've been working on this for years. Just just. Try to make it happen yes. by, by September. Excuse me, but Jeffrey, we've been working on a number of things for years as well. I, I, I understand, Sally, but I'm it's, just it's saying I think, it's, I think that the Planning Commission should make it a priority, given all the public input, and all, uh, that, it, that this be accomplished by September. And, and if, you, if you can't, you can't. But I think that should be your priority. Okay. I really do. Okay. We have other things on the agenda? I'm sure that you do. We have a, we're in the middle of a public hearing for readopting our town plan, which has been contentious as well. These are not things that we can just brush aside. Just remember, there are a lot of other issues in the community. Yeah. I given, think that this should be worked on. But given the passion and the discussion and the level of interest of yeah. just about everybody in the community about this one issue, I think it should go to the top of the heap. Of what to be discussed about. This whole subcommittee that's been dedicated to drafting this ordinance. No? It, 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 it is a, it is, but it's not necessarily. Um, um, I was on the planning commission for 10 years. That did happen. This is important. Let's get to it first. That happened. Well, anyway, do you, do you? We will best. do our best. Do we will best. definitely do our best. Um, any other discussion? Can we move on this motion? As, as you've read it. on the number of days. I, 
you know, listening to Sally and listening to Phil, I really, I would, can we compromise on 90 days? I would compromise on that. Okay. Yeah, as well. So then I amend my motion to 90 days. Any other discussion? Uh, hearing none, um, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Nay. Nay. Uh, so, by roll call, with your name and your uh, and uh, your vote, Carrie. Carrie Cole, aye. Anna Dina Talley, aye. Jeffrey Kahn, nay. Carrie Engen, nay. Serena Nelson, aye. Motion carries three to two. <coughs> All right, let's move on. Hope that that can be done in that time period as soon as possible. All right, so next we have a request for permits. The Porsche Club of America, uh, auto show September 5th. So this is the second time this has come before us. Third. Third? third. Oh, is it the third? <laughs> sorry. Okay, sorry, it's the third. Uh, it's for the those third. of you who don't know me, um, I'm Julie Z. I'm the national sales manager at the Woodstock Inn and Resort. I've been there for 18 years. Porsche Club of America has purchased the inn from September 4th through September 8th, the entire inn. Um, since I submitted this permit, we've actually amended their agenda and we'd like to switch the event request to September 6th, which is Friday night. Same hours, 4 to 6 p.m. And what we'd like to do is host a small number of the cars. We expect about 145 cars to be at the resort for four to six days. We would like to host probably 40 cars on the green if we can allow them with respect to honoring your request to keep away from the trees, keep away from the fences, stay away from the water lines. Any damage to the green or the grass would be repaired by the Woodstock Inn and Resort. The main uh, thing is, is that we have to make sure that it isn't a rainy, if it rains the, for the couple of days beforehand and the ground is squishy, it, it, I, as much as I'd like to see something like this happen, I, I just think that that should negate that from being able, maybe we could figure out a way to line them up right on the ring outside. Yeah. And you know, if, if that's the case, but if it rains and the cars sink in, I just don't think it's a good thing. I'd be fine saying that it's weather dependent. Wonderful. And giving, Check with me. Giving Phil the option yeah. to Thank pull you, the plug. Not a problem. Well, that's how it's been in the past. Yeah. Beth? It is the Friday night of our art show and the artists set their tents up on Friday night. Ouch. Oh. Would it, about that. would it be possible to close down Elm Street for that time and have the cars on Elm Street? Um, How does that event go? I it's a nighttime, nighttime thing. thing. Well, that one was not as organized as this one Sorry. is, where that one was like, it wasn't a, a that kind of a level of event, and I think that it was... It wasn't a nighttime thing, so we're not taking away from the shop owners and all that kind of stuff. I actually, I, I said that I would probably be against it if it went on Elm Street, but if it's a night, an evening event, it could be actually a lot of fun. And you guys are, I'm sure, going to guarantee a lot more vehicles there than at the previous event, which ended up only being like 17 cars. Yeah. When you're talking about the previous event, are you talking about the other vintage Porsches on the green? No, this have? is the Jaguars that were. Oh, right, right, on Elm Street. Right. One of the reasons we've decided that we'd prefer to have it on the green is we'd like to host our reception for the other members who are not putting their cars on the green. The other 140 people or 200 people that are actually guests of the inn also with Porsches, but they'll be on the lawn of the inn. Oh, nice. So we kind of wanted it visually within yeah. sight. So let me ask a question. Beth, what, how much time do they need to set up? They usually are there from, we have them start between three and four, and sometimes they're there till seven. <coughs> and they've got all their tents. I mean, so. And they stay up all weekend. And they stay up and all they stay weekend, up so weekend. they, uh, you know, there's 20 to 30 tents. 
Uh, they shifted from Tuesday to Friday because fri Friday night is the dine around in the village. So that would be the night that they'd be walking to different area restaurants for dinner. There's no organized dinner. How many people? Probably about 220 people at the inn and 140, 45 cars. And they're going to be walking around at night with places to eat. Right. Can yes. we arrange for the where there's um, parallel parking around the green to being I vertical can parking? I in the parking lots. This, this is a wish list item. It would be great if we could make it happen. No, that's why I'm yeah. saying if, we, if we, that they would can be park like a sun rays around the green with the cars. Oh, right, that's a nice idea. That would be fun and it wouldn't interfere with what's going on in the directly in the center of How the green. for you, Robbie? I think it'd be fine as long as we have it properly marked and combed mm -hmm. off or whatnot. And plenty of notice. Plenty of notice. And, and what time and did you say? 4 p.m. Anyway. to 6 p.m. is their preferred time to... And when people are coming in with tents trying to park their car and doing I mean, could be half, half of them? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe could we use the half that faces the resort for our Porsches, uh -huh. and then the other half would be for your artisans. That, 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 that's the that wider side anyway. Yeah. <coughs> a little bit tricky. The, the middle bridge side <laughs> is much wider, so I think we wouldn't have the issue. If you have it on the end side, I think you're going to have an issue. Did you hear that? Plus, I'm wrong. You have it on the inside because you don't have that. I think if you have it on the inside, it's going to be too narrow. Yeah. On the cut on the middle bridge side, it's much wider, and you won't have the issue. But otherwise, I, I would be concerned if you had it on the on the inside. Unfortunately. No, that's okay. I appreciate that. We don't want anything happening to the cars either. So. But they set up on Friday night because they're there starting early morning on Saturday. Yeah, they said they and some of them have the oh. most elaborate tents. Yeah. So they set them up. And so that they can then start to, st I mean, they get there at 8 o'clock or before on Saturday morning to be open at 10. Hey, Robbie, what if we pulled just for that evening the spots by the library to open that up for, 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 for through traffic? What is that, four spots to remove? Even still, that area right by the end entrance is really narrow. Mm -hmm. How about Court Street? <coughs> Court Street's been used in the past. Yeah, we've used Court Street. It's not as dynamic. I mean, I'd go back to probably just using the parking lot at the Woodstock Inn if that were the case. Can we amend our hours to work with you, Beth, if we were to host it slightly earlier? <coughs> the library lot, is, is that an option? Sure. Kind of varies. But his stop society parking lot? No, that's they wanted hidden. to display. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah we want to be able to really visually understand. see it from the mall area. Yeah, sure. And yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't know about your art show. What if you were to do yeah. two to four or three to five, and you were to? That's what I'm wondering. Can we do bit. three to, you know, two to four or three to five, and then have your artist set yeah. up at cool. five p.m. Um, I think so. Could we talk we about it? We can definitely day? talk. I can be flexible, and, we, and if it doesn't work too. or if it's weather. A weather call yeah. that we have to make, we're happy to make those changes. So, so we because can I think potentially it's great. approve this uh, pending uh, the coordination with the chamber in terms of working out the hours. But we could approve it for the 6th uh, with everything else that's listed here, plus Harry's addition of weather permitting. So and we will talk to Phil. Phil can make the weather call. So, yep. so we need a motion to approve based on. Okay. So uh, is there a second? second. <laughs> okay, any, any further Sorry discussion? Sorry, it's been 43 times. I thought if I built up the anticipation, you'd be ah. excited by the time I got here. It's going to be great. Now, second part, huh? Nice try. And, uh, so, uh, so being approved, uh, there will be a certificate of insurance that's provided. Yes. Okay. Of course, the Club of America will issue the certificate to indemnify the town, to remove the town, the village, how to make Town and village. Town and village. Okay. Um, and the chief of police has already been notified prior to this meeting. So. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. thank you very thank much. You. I appreciate it. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Thank you. All right. Next on the agenda is a sustainable Woodstock uh, solar event. Yes. 
Uh, Andrew McLaughlin, I'm chair of the board of Santa Woodstock. Yes. The uh, event we're requesting uh, permission for is uh, congruent with the uh, taste of Woodstock. Right. We had it last year. Um, no real changes. Um, I can go into more detail if you want, but uh, it, it, it really works nicely with the taste of Woodstock. And we had about 60 people making inquiries to uh, a variety of uh, solar vendors. Maybe we'll have six or eight this year vendors. We haven't closed on uh, the application period for people to come, but uh, we'll have tables and uh, hopefully get a lot of people to sign up for solar in different ways. Right. So this was successful last year. There's no change really. No. I make change. a motion to accept the permit as requested. Second. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion, Motion carries. Thank you very Thank much. You. It's, uh, it's, that's a great thing to uh, promote. Uh, next up, use of the sidewalk by Brandy Failing Bohemia Productions. Um, we all have, uh, that's Lane Bryant, um, and we have a certificate of insurance uh, this time around. Um, and uh, use of this for their advertising purposes. I don't think we approved this. No, no, we didn't approve it. We said we, the would, of we would approve it. Oh. Well, we Isn't that what we said? We, that we did would. say that. Well, right, we said that we would approve you it. You mentioned it, right? Yeah, if, uh, yes, if, we, yeah, if we received what we needed. And we have received it, so all those, uh, I'd entertain a motion. Um, I'll, make a, I'll move that we approve the permit for Randy. Fouling Bohemian Productions um, for use of the sidewalk from July 15th through 18th, 2019. Second. Any further discussion on that? All, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Um, next up, our Woodstock, our future request for parking space on Elm Street, July 13th and July 20th from 10 to 4 p.m. And that's Sally. So I think you all have a copy of this. Anybody else wants a copy? They are welcome yes, to. Like this is just um, uh, another activity in our um, community outreach that we're doing for our visioning project. So we're trying to do some a variety of different events and um, venues for people to make comments. And I think on the back of you have a description of what it is. Yeah. On the back, you can see that we did the stickers in the Bentley's window, which were really quite successful. We actually ran out of stickers, so we could have done a whole lot more during that weekend. And so this is, on the bottom, is a pop-up um, polling, which happens in a parking space. Our consultant um, community workshop, who is from Bethel, has done this in another, a number of different communities. This is one in Laconia. So again, it's just an opportunity to have a different type of way to attract attention and to get people. We're, we'll be collecting information um, from residents, visitors, business owners um, for the next couple weeks and so we're just looking for a way to get some presence in the community. The pop-up does take a parking space. Um, it's just it will be something simple with a you know a rug or something colorful so that people see us and just an opportunity for um, one of our volunteers to stand there and chat with people and get their input on visioning. So I talked to Sally today about a problem that came up because I was interested in getting an opinion uh, of the folks at Gillingham's and they objected to this um, happening uh, at this time of year in a parking space and I know that Sally said well, well it could be across the street from Gillingham's and I think and I suggested, and I would still suggest, that there be some great spots in the village to do this that are not the usual spots, um, that are, don't take them apart. What about by space. the Legion? Well, one of the ones was I suggested was either the Legion lawn or the uh, former pie location, that which is way, way open, and if you get permission from that landlord, yeah, and I, I actually have talked to them. I do not have that. I do not have permission from them yet. The one thing about Bentley's, I will say that it is central. 
I mean, that location yeah. is central, and people are there. When you're down at the Legion or even at Pi, you're kind of out of the middle of the well, action. this time of year, people, though, are walking right. all I know. I'm just saying that this is what we're asking for, so that's what's okay. on the table, guys. There's also a space. Isn't there a space in front of Bentley's that says no parking? Yes, that's a little... Or I think is that, that too and I scary? I my letter, and I, never, I didn't check with right. Chief Flish, but that's, that's a little bit on the... Because of the turn? Yeah, yeah. That's a little bit in the traffic there. Yeah, Joe? Question. Well, I, I, I don't know, maybe this may be helpful, but um, the proposed bump outs that we'll be working on next week, and we'll discuss this later, two of them are going to be, well, one is going to be in front of be uh, Gillingham's, and another one is going to be across the street in front of the final shop, and they're pretty substantial. I don't know how much room this event <coughs> is going to require, but, you know, Robbie and I walked around, and those are pretty, pretty good sized spots. Mm -hmm. that, as a matter of fact, they're big enough to we plan on putting benches there oh. for people to use. So I mean, be done not in the parking space. Not in the parking space. So I don't know if that would be helpful or not, but well, I think that yeah. might be something you could is consider it, or look at. Is it, um, how, so you said you're starting work next week. Is that, does that mean there'll well, be We're going to talk about this later, but we're, we're yeah. thinking about what we're proposing is to get this I done. Would. Uh, the H seventeenth. What's the size of the pop up? Um, it can well here. You can see these are just you know they're it's a parking space, so it's a you know nine by eighteen mm -hmm. space. The and the only reason I'm whining is it's my husband's birthday tonight, and I really wanted to get home to do him dinner. So, <laughs> so I can't stay for that second discussion. What time? I'm sorry. What date were you asking? We were asking for the next two Saturdays. I think the pop up would fit. You know how outside of the crosswalk. You got the diamond. Yeah. It would fit there. If it could fit there, then that's just a great yes. location and it doesn't take the well, parking I think, space. I, I mean, think that would. Uh, if you guys have already looked at those spots at Gillingham's, I mean, I just don't want to be in the traffic or in, you won't in the way of other people. So. The issue with being the on the other side of Gillingham's, though, is the parking spots are like this, whereas you hey, kind of want to be parallel. What about that other diamond? Yeah. Well, Okay. Isn't that creating an unsafe environment, having it on the dummy? Yeah, we got it far enough. You're, 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 you're it's just that there like might not be as many people going by if it was on the dummy. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't I mean, know. Why don't you put it in front of eyes on now? on the dummy, but they may, and... Because that's out of the center of the district. Why don't we put it in front of them all there, and then everybody who gets coffee... Well, I was going to ask that. What about right in front of the town crier? Like the that little area oh, there. Sure that's possible. Yeah. Where they play the music. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. so the cruise will be That's a great spot too. You could use the cruiser stand for that one. Yeah. That would be a cruiser stand. Would be great. Be the cruiser. It's yours. <laughs> the cruiser stand. Would be wow. Yours. Compromise. <laughs> that's great. That's huge. Yeah, that takes yeah. away the merchants. Ah, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, so, motion to approve the use of the cruiser stand on Elm Street on July 13th and July 20th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So moved. Second. Wow. Uh, all those in favor. This is exciting uh, stuff. Aye. 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 You just have to make sure you tell the people who are going to turn the wrong way to not turn yes, the wrong way. You're going to have to give out tickets if you're in that location. Camera? A camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That sounds perfect. Like okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yes. 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 Thank you. So and congratulations on your daughter's marriage. Well, thank you for that too. You're welcome. It's been a busy month, or busy week. <laughs> thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, okay, good. moving on to the police, our police chief's report, Chief Blish. Okay, so the signs for River Street we talked about last month, we yeah. those have been ordered. The speed sign for River Street has been ordered. Did we get, you got a grant for it? Yeah, I had equipment money grant for the Governor's Highway Safety, so I was able to pull it out of that right. and make the purchase. The speed cart's gonna be moved from High Street to Central Street this week. One of the residents was concerned about some speed on, on Central Street. On Central Street? Yeah. yeah. Keep the location on, where's it gonna be on Central Street? By, uh, probably close to Lincoln Street, if I can find a spot for it. Down there. Yeah, mm -hmm. on that end. So, I'll put it, I'll find a spot for it. Yeah. Right on that end. <laughs> well, so Rob, Rob, when are you gonna do that? Like Thursday. <laughs> we're going to be working on those crosswalks Thursday. Okay. Are we yeah. Thursday? Well, well, it won't, and you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, you won't be in my one. Okay. Um, the a High Street resident asked me about uh, no through truck signs and reduced weight sign limits. We talked about this last 
here, but I don't, I couldn't find anything in the ordinances that had been changed on it, but I don't remember what was talked about. So I'm just bringing it up to, to your attention to see if you recall. Uh, we did not approve no through trucks. We and did the weight limit, did we change? Did we, we did change the, the weight, weight limit. limit. Mm -hmm. We changed the weight limit. I can't remember what the number was. 16,000 so. pounds. Yes. Yeah, we did do that. Okay, then I'll have those signs. I just wanted to make sure I was on the right page. What is that for? I'm sorry. For High, High Street. Street. High Street. Yeah. For, because they have an issue Chief, can we go back just for a second sure. to River Street? Um, have you gotten any advice yet on your ability to write a ticket uh, for the no, to enforce no through trucks? No, those signs that would we're going to post them. I think you, you recall, but really we wouldn't be able to. It wouldn't be be education. Uh, we're, I'm in hopes that you know you would have to. We have to do something with an ordinance. I think in order for us to enforce it. It's a public street, and you've got weight limits. So if those two are in compliance. I don't see writing a ticket. No, but I, we'll, I, my opinion, we could post the signs. We'd, we wouldn't be able to enforce, but hopefully it would calm, yep. calm that right. issue. And then it would be your, up to you as a board to decide whether you wanted to put teeth into it. So I guess we'll wait to see uh, what effect this has on the problem. Okay. That would make, make yeah. sense. So, can, yeah, continue. Yeah. But in fact, just the other day, there was, a, I saw a, tr a hay truck went through. Weren't over, they weren't over the weight, but there was no reason for them to cut through other than they didn't want to go through the village. They were going to go to Route 12, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so we're still down a, a full-time officer. We're going to be advertising um, for that spot again soon. Uh, and an early congratulations to Officer Holmes. He's going to be out for a couple of weeks uh, for the birth of his second child. So we're actually going to be down two officers for a short while, but we'll, we'll get through it. Um, July 4th weekend went well. We didn't have any issues with that. The meters, uh, meters for June, the revenue was $11,176.20. Credit card usage topped 35% this month, mm -hmm. or, or in June. Uh, it was down slightly from 18, which, uh, or the, the revenue was down slightly from 2018, which was uh, $11,985. I'm, I'm guessing maybe it was because of the wet June we had, maybe few of you parked. Um, I got a reply from the company that I spoke to you about last month, the AMT, about the better rate. The, the better rate. rate. Um, and I pre presented the questions that you all had, had suggested that I ask. Um, and so the answer was there's no increase in pricing from AMG from exchange plus five cents per transaction. That pricing is fixed for the life of the contract. Most the cost components that no one can control are one, the interchange, and two, what Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and Amex make. Those fees are looked at two times a year and can, and can be changed then. Any adjustments to one or two would be a pass through for all, for all AMG clients. So in other words, it's, nothing changes unless the credit card companies change their rate. And then the, um, there's no, uh, they do not put terms in their contracts. So for whatever reason, we want to leave them, we can just do so. There's no financial consequence. So there's savings and no downsides. It looks like it, yeah. Then this company was recommended to us by the meter company. That's how uh, they came to my attention. So um, I, th I think we'd be safe if we entered into it. And it's on average about a 20% savings yeah. for a credit card um, transactions. Isn't the meter company the company we're dealing with to pay the fees now? No, no, no the no, meter company is different the than the card. processing company. Yeah, oh, okay, thank you. I thought that they did all, all, I thought they were our credit card processor. They get a cut, <laughs> but this is separate from that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's, let's go have a motion to approve a uh, 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 contract w without a time constraint. Um, <laughs> from a new processing company as described. AMG. AMG, or AMG. So moved. How long is the contract? Second, there is none. There, <coughs> I can get out whenever you want. Um, so all those in? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, Chief. Thank, Thank you for looking into that, Chief. That's I, you. I have a question for the Chief. Yes, sir. Did you get time? Yeah, of course. Okay. Can you give me an update on tra traffic in 
going through town and what, if anything, are you looking at to maybe uh, impact that situation? I don't have numbers for you. Um, I, think, I, I think don't think, I haven't seen an uptick in, anecdotally myself. Well, I think, I think this, there's, a, there's a, uh, a situation that I don't think is often discussed, or never discussed, actually. In addition to the impact it has on the road, there are six businesses in town that have that offer outdoor dining from May until October. Now, I have personally seen people sitting down to a delicious meal prepared by a great place, not only our place, but a great, you know, other places, where people have actually lifted their head and crinkle their eyes a little bit when a truck has gone by, Walmart on the side of it, spruiting out diesel fumes while they're trying to eat their meal. Walmart has a permit. <laughs> has what? <laughs> Walmart has a permit. Well, I don't, you know. I know what you're saying. I know, but, but I mean, wait, it's wait, a wait, wait, let me ask, let me ask the question. Let me ask so the much question. We can do. Yeah, well, that's, I'm wondering. Now, are you 100% positive that every one of those trucks has a permit? It's a fleet permit. Do they have to carry it? Yes. Can you check it? Oh, of course. But if we know these guys get the stopped, permit. it means time and money to them. They don't want to be stopped for anything. So what I'm suggesting is looking at the impact that this truck traffic not only has on the roads, but what it has on the local businesses in town that work hard to establish a nice place for people to dine and Target truck goes by, CVS goes by, and all these fleet guys. There has to be some way to say, you know what? You're having a negative impact on our community, on our businesses. Some way we should be able to address that. There has to be. The only thing we can do, Joe, is try to enforce the permits and weight limits. And we don't have scales. We, we do have scales. Oh, we do have scales. Typically speaking, it's your log trucks that are overweight. Yeah, right. So are we, are we stopping as many trucks to check for permits or... or yeah, as we're, I mean, we're still doing the, the, the same enforcement that we, that we have. You're stopping in to check to see if they have the permit. But that's when we stop a truck, that's why we're stopping them, uh -huh. is to make sure they have the permit. So would it, would it be possible to say, you know what, what's, it, what's, the, permit, what's the length permitted? 63 feet? It's 68 feet. 68 feet. Requires a requires You permit. know what, I don't think that's 68 feet, I think that's 70 feet. Why don't we measure this thing? We measure every truck we stop if they don't have the permit. If they don't have a permit. Correct. And, and then we issue the ticket. And you issue the ticket. They get they permits to 73 feet. Right. Hmm. I mean, so, I, uh, so a, a, a truck with a 53 foot trailer yeah. and a sleeper cab yeah. is almost nine times out of 10, 72 feet, maybe 72 feet, six inches. Yeah. Okay. They have, they, a permit, they have a permit. So if they have a permit, they're good to go. Right, right. They're Without good to a go, permit, but if they don't have a permit, we issue a ticket. They, and we I, issue the tickets to the companies, yeah. not just the drivers, so that, we, that the companies are getting the message. Because it could be the drivers would just pay it and, and probably not say anything to the company. The company is getting the ticket. And the fines are increased. So if we stop a company, for instance, that for the first time, it's $362. <coughs> And then let's say we stop them two more times. The third ticket's like a $962 ticket. They're getting the message. And a lot of the companies are getting the permits. It's a free permit, as you well know. I mean, it's, it's a process that's been set by the legislature. We, we, we do what we can. So, so I, just I, have, I just have a problem accepting the fact that a situation like that that's having a negative impact, first time it rose, that we have to spend a lot of money to repair annually. Secondly, on the local businesses you that are working hard to maintain a good business. I think and you have to. I think you have to prohibit trucks altogether. Yeah. I don't know. And that's something that's beyond right. us. Yeah. That's no. a legislative yeah. deal. I know. I know anecdotally that there's truck drivers that do avoid Woodstock. They take 91 or they go a different way because mm -hmm. they know that they do get pulled over that's there. Right. Um, but I don't think it's a completely unavoidable thing. I, I think, think you're just gonna what? get. I don't think it's completely unavoidable. I mean, you're going to have some amount of truck traffic through town unless you completely prohibit them. It's been my observation. Which we cannot do. Which we can't do, right? It's been my observation. 
Judging from what it was like 10 years ago, it has increased Increase. significantly but since then. It's significantly less than what it was in the 80s, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, it was. But still it's a lot. And it should be some way to protect our businesses. And so all we can do is ask the chief to remain vigilant in stopping as many trucks that, uh, that, that are within, within reason. Uh, we'll do what we can, yeah. absolutely. I mean, we try as, we, as much as we can now. Um, yeah. So we'll just try harder. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. We'll talk about it again. I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm telling you, never see another one come through. <laughs> then we'll stop talking about it. <laughs> Um, the July 30th is still the projected end date for the Route 12 construction. I think I, I posted something on Facebook about that for the good out there by so the road. The third yeah, yeah that's, they, that's the projected date. It could be sooner. Could, I don't. I doubt it'll go longer, but <laughs> 30th is what they're saying. And um, speaking of the crosswalks, I came in a couple minutes as that was going on. Um, so my plan, I had written it down, and uh, coincidentally, you were talking about it. Until we get the planters out and whatnot, or until they get restriped, I, I'm going to put out uh, cones on each end of each crosswalk and a cone in the center Good. of each crosswalk for the more concentrated crosswalks here in the, in the, in, in the village. And until we can get them painted, I think. Um, and I've seen it myself. I've, uh, I've heard about it for a long time hoping that you know they would get marked sooner than later you know like I mentioned it's difficult for us to sometimes enforce those crosswalk violations when there's no paint on the surface of the road yeah. so just until we get some of these other things taken care of I'll put yeah. those cones out and uh, so you'll see those that's what those are going to be about I just want to give you a heads up that we had we're, we're going to do that that's Are these going to be like the standard cones or like that post that has the it's reflectors the, on it? It's the it's about this high with reflectors on the top. It's the police department cones. When are you going to do that, Bob? Tonight. Tonight. I'm working the midnight shift tonight, so when I'm out tonight, I'll, I'll throw them out there. Right. Yeah. So you might be interested in what you know is going to happen in the old business because I'll be talking about the pots and asking you if you could uh, probably stick your nose in the door uh, the day that we'll distribute them and kind of give us some guidance on your perspective where you where you would like them and, yeah, and how here. we're doing with that. I'll be here. Thursday, great. right? That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, all right. To our village manager's report yep. and, and financial... Although I hate to, I think we got to go back to the moratorium. And yeah, we have the ad for the newspaper. I did when you read the um, the warned article didn't talk about voting. So I need to check with Joe McLean. I think you should sign it. If we don't need it, we toss it in the rubbish. If we need it, you could have a quick meeting. 8.15 in the morning or something. Thank you for that. Thank you. We've got it here somewhere in this row. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, at the end. Okay, we'll take a look at that first. Fix your date and time, sir. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, you should do it now. We'll do it now? Because otherwise i got to get you all is there, together. Is there an original? I've got a copy. I will have you sign the original when you sign all the other stuff at the end. Okay, so okay. pick your day and time. Well, okay. The yeah. soonest is Monday. Oh, for the public meeting? That's for you guys to take testimony on the interim. Which we might not need to do, but you're just No, no, you will. Oh. Because what he's going to write for interim zoning moratorium, people have to have a chance to look at. So what's the soonest we could do it? Monday, July 29th. Oh, that's what's listed there. Yeah, that's what's It has okay. to be published 15 days. Okay. Published. Okay. And it has to go in the paper tomorrow. I have to submit it tomorrow morning in order to have it on the 29th. Okay. 
Is it, can, are you able to do that? Can you do that? As long as it's signed tonight. Okay. But just be aware that once it's signed tonight, tomorrow morning. Is everybody available Monday. on this board uh, Monday, Monday the 29th? At 7? At 7? Seven or eight. <laughs> seven. Yep. In the morning. It says PM. Well, that was when it was seven p.m. <coughs> so pick your own time. Um. Yeah, I try to have it in the morning. Yep. Um. How about eight a.m. Would a public hearing at eight a.m. Yes. Yes. Why not? In the morning. In the <laughs> yes. <laughs> no donuts. No coffee. Just get to work. Yeah, <laughs> just get to work. No people. <laughs> no donuts, no coffee. <laughs> yeah, let's change it to 8 a.m. We'll get it done. Um, I will ask that it be 8.15. Okay. Because there's Raina, no can way you I can make it at 8 a.m. All right, 8.15. Sure, yep. Okay. All right, 8.15. It's in my calendar. Good. Okay. And you'll warn us, right? <laughs> you'll send out an email. Like the reminder. Thank All you. Right. Phil? So, these, uh, as everybody knows, long time accountant, Anna Pitts is retired. Zoe Parent is doing a wonderful job. We've gotten her a lot of training to use some of the technical services that our software has had right along. Uh, you will be happier with these monthly reports starting next month. But all in all, it looks very, very good to me. Uh, the budget looks like with with part that says uh, you know what will go up by 144 yep. and not done yet. Um, we're not that far off. No, and. So if you look under spending, the police cruiser, right. we had not budgeted that to be spent out of the bank, but that will come back in to income. So even that will look better. Mm -hmm. What do you mean that will come back in to income? Well, I didn't understand that either. It's not taxable. It wasn't tax revenue. It was money that had been saved aside for years. Okay. Right. But so that all comes. Pleased. From a different account? Is that what you're saying? You're no, from. It's been saved in the bank for a police cruiser. Okay. Incrementally over oh, time. Yeah. Okay. And then it will. Phil, the 144,000, yeah. it says this will go up, but we don't know when it'll go up because we don't know when the state will pay us what they owe us, correct? Pretty much that's, Bill, you will get that. Okay. We could just assume, but it could be September 1st before we get it. You should see across the books in July. Okay, thank you. So, um, our budget is very close. Uh, yeah. Having ended the fiscal year June thirtieth, um, which is which is great. Uh, that's good. good. Which is our standard fiscal year. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. So I see that patient Ray, if he's still here, Joe, we want to talk about Tego Landing and trash barrels. What? Yes, we're going to do that. Uh, we'll we'll talk to do that now under old business. Yep. Yes, so Joe, tell us about uh, Tiga Landing. Well, first of all, I'd, I'd like to ask permission of the board to use the green as a staging area for the pots for the for the uh, pop outs. In other words, we're going to receive deliveries of pots, flowers, and potting soil, oh, yeah. and we'd like to assemble those things and then distribute them at the proper locations using the green as a focal point. Where are they going to be going? Okay. So on what are, where, where are they going to be going? The, those bump outs are going to be Gillingham's to the flannel stores. There's, there's quite a few of them. There's quite a few. So down. how many crosswalks are, are going to be covered by this? Just about all of them. Nice. Except 
they'll stop at uh, Tribal Park. They won't go over to Max Market. So from Tribal Park, this way, front of the bank, or near the bank, <coughs> and then the one in front of um, Monverde, and then coming this way is the drugstore, then you go across the street, there's in front of Gillingham's, to the final shop, then you come a little bit further, and it goes from where the white cupboard is over to the bank, and then it goes from the green to uh, in front of my building, five to green, and then across to the library, and then halfway up the green, there's two more that goes out. One goes to the covered bridge, the other one goes out to the, to the, to the inn, and then you go further up, and it stops at the one right out here. I, a question. I thought that the one out at Tribal Park, I thought that was not. Uh, well, it was approved. suggested, and they asked us to go that far. I thought that was not a good idea. Well, it'll, well be, it it'll just be, on, it won't be on both ends. It won't be on the park end. It'll have to be on the park side. It'll be on the other yeah. side of the street. Mm. So these Which are is fine outs? because that's a east, yeah, that's the east and bound. So a bump out in this case is defined by two pots on either side of the yes. cross street next to the sidewalk. Yes, and sizes depending on what um, point of view the traffic has. Okay. In other words, they try to be more prominent uh, facing the traffic. So the pots are not all the same size, they're different No, sizes. they're two different sizes. Two different sizes. And so they'll be, they'll be placed, and that's why I'd like to have Rob there, then he can kind of say, this is where I need this one, and this is where I need that one. I mean, we did this already. We walked around and we kind of identified locations, but I'd like to have his support that day. In fact, you can bring a couple of walls and probably help us load the pots up the soil. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to, but I'll be stopping trailers. All right, so Wednesday, the 18th, uh, the topsoil and the pots will be delivered that, e that day, that evening. The now, 19th. Now, wait, let me ask you a question. That's, that's a, a farmer's market day. Yeah, I know. The green. And we discussed it with Beth and Kathy. Okay. And we're going to put it in a spot closer to the bank yeah. so it'll be out of the way. Okay. Just want okay. to make sure there was. Yeah, yeah. We, we discussed it. You know, okay. Beth's been on top of this. Okay. And then on, on Thursday morning, on Thursday morning, uh, the flowers come in. And that's when we will do the assembly. And then we'll distribute from there. What we plan on doing, get. There's a, I have, we have a um, dolly at our disposal, and the chamber does. We're going to use dollies after we get everything assembled to distribute them. Make, well, most of them are going to be around the green on Central Street and Elm Street. That's where 85, 90% of them are going to be. So we use dollies to distribute them there, and then I'll throw whatever's going to go in tribal up. I'll put them back in my pickup. And take them up there. Go ahead. General, who's responsible for watering these? Mm -hmm. Well, we're working on we're working on that. Elijah had given us a price because he does. He already does, yeah. and those things are blooming beautifully. They're looking yeah. great. Well, sunshine so he helps. He um, yeah, he, he does a great job, and so it would be. Addition. I think personally, I think they're a little expensive to water the plants, but we discussed that. Maybe next year we'll put it up for bid. We'll see. But yeah, um, he does Ryan a great job. A really right good now, guy. We'll, we'll, he works here. We'll, we'll, he lives here, and yeah. he's yeah. part of yeah. our community. Sure. And yeah, he does a great job. Can you give me a general idea of how big they are? Just Say what? I'm just curious. How big are they? Thirty. Okay. Bye. It could slow down traffic big. really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which would alleviate your issue of the rumbling trucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. The other. Can I say one thing? It's you can say a dozen things. Go ahead. No, I'd just like to say, if there are any volunteers in the TV audience that would like to join us on Thursday morning at 9 o'clock on the green, we would love you to come down and help us plant. I'll try to get coffee there for everybody. Thursday the 19th. Oh. Thursday the 19th. Thank you. 18th. Here's my info. The 19th. That's <laughs> Friday. Oh, well, the 18th then. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thursday the 18th. Thank you, Mary. Nine o'clock. So, um, so again, I'd like to ask permission of the board to use the green for that purpose. Third, it'll be Wednesday night and Thursday during the day. 
full assembly. I make a motion to allow the EDC revitalization committee to use the green for assembly of the pots for the uh, said bump outs. I'll um, second. On Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday evening. Wednesday evening. Delivery through Thursday through morning. Thursday afternoon. Assembly. On the 19th. Second. Any discussion? So, so the EDC revitalization committee is going to uh, meet to assemble uh, uh, and deal with pot on the green. Yeah. Are we really agreeing Wait. to that? <laughs> <laughs> Pots. Oh, pots. Pots. Oh, ah, ah, You're on candy ah, camera. Ah, 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 Only nine minutes. Sorry. Move on, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> it's medical. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Joe. The next next is Tigo Landing. Yeah, Tigo Landing. Um, since we last spoke, there was an EDC meeting, uh, and the EDC is undergoing a reorganization phase phase right now. Fortunately, I hope. What we've been proposing for Teagles and the bump outs and the trash cans has already been discussed ad nauseum. So we're in this kind of middle place where we're not part of the old system, we're not part of the new system, but since we are in that place, we feel we have a good opportunity to um, get the money we need to do Teagles. Now, what was um, agreed upon at the last meeting is, at the very minimum, they'll give us the money <coughs> to put the uh, granite steps in and the railings. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's enough. I want to get the whole job done. And so um, it was suggested by a couple of members that <laughs> we get an additional pricing, not bids, pricing, on what it might cost to complete the whole project. And uh, I am in the process of getting those prices now. I spoke with uh, Larry Niles, has been active, he's a member of the EDC, been, been active in trying to get this project moving forward. Um, we've talked a lot about, you know, how we're gonna make this happen. I, I, I feel pretty good that we'll get all we need, the entire amount, to get a good job and a great job done at Teagle's Landing. Now, I can go into specifics for you if you'd like, you know, what we're, what we're talking about, what exactly might be done and what we propose to get done. I can do that if you'd like. If not, I can just move on. And uh, What do you want? Any questions uh, so far? Well, we, we've already heard about you know, the plan of what could go on down there. Say what? We've already heard the plan of, what, okay. of what's going to go on down okay. there. I would just say that um, uh, it'd be great if the whole thing could get done, but my concern is with safety in the village. Yes. And right now, the railings and the, and the, the stairs uh, are a priority. And, Couldn't agree more. And <coughs> so anything that could be done to get those... Uh, well, that's going to get done, Jeff. That's been approved. The railings and the stairs have been approved. What I'd like to do is get it all done. Right. But I'm just saying... That should be a priority. It is. Um, I think you're saying we shouldn't wait on the, on the other stuff to do one you. thing first. That's correct. Yeah, I want to get it done. done. I want to get it done. But, but don't let it hold up the process, though. Well, part of their response was that they needed two more prices. Two more prices. Mm -hmm. Such as... Mm -hmm. Okay, bids. let me just ask a question. Go ahead. Have you invited three or more bidders? We invited... No, we did not. That's the answer to the question. So as long as you invite bidders and they don't want the work, yes, you don't have to have three prices. Well, that's great information, Phil, because I didn't invite one other one other than the one we already have, and he said he'd look at it, but he can't do it. He just can't do it. He can't it never it. hurts to throw an ad in the paper. Okay. okay. Because people who are looking for work yeah. scour the ads. Okay. So that's a great okay. suggestion, Phil. Well, well, it's a great piece of information. Yeah. Why don't you throw an ad in? Then you don't I have any. And then you're covered. Mm -hmm. you can. Just that's throw the you ad. Need. You can mail the ad to somebody interested. You can put it on a listserv. Maybe that. Mm -hmm. Put it on the listserv. Okay. So that's another way to get it <clears> Yep, it gets good in. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, so that's all. Your point 
is that it's fair and equitable for everybody in that line of work. Right. Great. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Okay. So um, that's where we are with deal. Um I can't think. Oh, the next thing that it distributes. I think the last time we spoke, we talked about trash cans, and I offered to to uh, bring some uh, options that you can look at that would meet with your approval, and I have the prices. So if uh, the first page is what we have, which isn't very exciting, the second page we have four of these, right? right? And three. they're better. Three. Mm -hmm. they're three. Two black and a green. Two black and a green? What happened okay. to the other green? Yeah. We only have three. Oh, okay. Now, following page is one of the options. Mary, you want to look at this? I'm good. I'm okay. I'm sure I'll find it. All right. It. Usually, you, you know, you jump out. I see it at that meeting okay. here. Okay. All right. All right. Well, this is a new one. This, oh. this is the new one. Oh. I'll come sit next to you. Come on, sit next to me. Nothing I would enjoy better. Right here, Mary. So this one, this one shows one receptacle. No, that's that's half, this two. It's half. Yeah, half, half recycle. Half recycle. Half trash. And how, how do you access it? From the top. So from the side. Yeah. Can I just say, it might be blasphemous for me to say this, but they have two of these outside coals in West Lebanon, oh, yeah. and they seem to work. Yeah. I actually Just think it's cool. It'll stop people from opening it up and throwing their own garbage into it. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Are they the same size in terms of the amount that they? What's the gallon? No, they're size? all different. They're all different. This and that is, is something. This that is forty-five, 45 gallons size. per side. What do we have it now? It can't be per side at that size. No. It's a 45 gallon total, yeah. 22 oh, yeah, and a half, yeah. which is the same size as basically what we have yeah. now. You have two so of them those, out. Those are uh, $1,858 a piece. We, we, we kind of guessed that we need about 15 locations. So take that number, multiply times 15. That's what we're going to be asking for. Now, given the environment they're in right now with the EDC, right, I think it would be prudent if we present two separate grants at the next EDC meeting. One for Teagles and the, the, amount, the full amount of needed with the three pricings involved, and a separate one for the trash can, because I think if we put them together, the amount will kind of scare people away. I, I think, what do you think, Jeff? I think they're two separate issues. Yeah, yeah they are yeah. two separate issues. Although trash cans are going to Teagles Landing. Yeah. You, you what you have to really pay attention to Mm -hmm. So we have to have, to have enough back. trash capacity yeah. to get from Friday morning to Monday morning, mm -hmm. and that's three days. Yes, and so, how many? So, so we. That's a, sorry, that's a Phil, but I just wanted that's, to clarify. So the one that you were saying, which is a split system. Yeah, that's only one of the options. Yet. There's I know, I don't, yeah. but I'm just saying that's only what 22 and a half gallons of trash, okay. and currently, how much to? The, the three that we the have. The oil drums are 55, and the fancy cans are 35. So that's insufficient. No, it's okay. not, because this is a double-sided unit. If you put two of them no, together, no, it's the same it. thing. This no. is what we talked no, about no, last no, time. No, no, it's no, 45 no. gallons. You're saying no, you we'll have understand. more locations. We'll have them okay. in far more locations, there's, right? Okay. There's and it's currently, we're currently gallons. using 55 gallons. No, we're not. We're using 33 gallons. For That's three of them. For three of them. Oh, the rest are all 55 gallons. Right, so this would equal 45, and no, there'd be more. No, no. 55 gallons just for a trash container. Serena, get in there. That's 22 and a half gallons for the TV. trash yeah. side. But how many, how many trash how many, cans how many do we currently have? It doesn't, it doesn't really. I mean, Is it more than 15? 30. I mean, I've, I've gone kind of through where we, because they're all double. I don't know if more trash cans that we're going to solve this. So what, it's because what, you have locations that are harder than others, right? That's why. What we do now is okay. we get busy in August, put extra cans up. Right. And that's these 55 gallon drums. Not pretty, but people know to put trash in them. And they get filled, filled pretty quickly. Yeah. 
pretty oh, well. Gee. Yeah. Always. And yeah. then <laughs> we keep them through foliage, and we keep them through <coughs> wassail, and then we pull them off the streets. Right. How much are these other ones that you're presenting? Okay. In terms the, of, uh, terms of uh, uh, 20, $2,200. $2,198. No, no, no capacity. capacity. Oh, capacity. Um, I believe they're 40 gallons. 40 That's gallons. Per size, so 40 per gallons. Per size. So it's a, okay, 40 gallons per, per size. size. That's more reasonable. No, but it's still less than having two of these sitting next to Those each other. Those are not going Those to sit split. next to each other. Do you see this diagram? Oh my God, but these are sitting next to each listen, other. You listen, have listen. to par compare apples Perry, to apples. Perry, I don't think he's look proposing at, putting two look in at, the spot though. This is... Right. This, is also, this is one of these carry. is recycling and trash. I understand. trash. I understand. But here, this is a 40 next to a 40. If you put two of these next to each other, you have you have 45 and 45. But this is not what you want. But that's not what they would do because this is a split system. The unit you can't put two of these because you end up with four receptacles. I know, but they Separate know what they wanted to do. But if they if you have fifteen of them, and then you the locations, I understand fifteen of the locations, them locations, not not we don't, units. So fifteen right. locations, but during the deeper, more busy time, you put out the extra ones. You're still going to have to put out the extra ones. It's a non-issue. Okay. So I is the discussion so. whether we want to buy enough to cover even the busy times? Well, not and we that the, well, they submit they to the EDC for it. They want to submit a for that, or is it we just consider the bare minimum of what we want and we bring out the ugly ones for are busy asking, time? Or are you asking which cans for, we prefer? Yes, I think, I think uh, we want to know which cans we okay. prefer. That's and right. You're, and you're Wait, what's discussing this, capacity. And this I'm this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for from the board. I want to be able to go to the EDC meeting and say, this is the, the one that like the it. trustees would like to see. Okay, what's this one? How many, what's the capacity on Either this way, one? I feel like that's that's, the, that's, the, same, same yeah. this that's the same as the one that's in the in the, yeah, in the, exactly. in the enclosure, 40. So yeah. I'd rather have this one than the same capacity. Yes, yeah. I would too. The double? The this, I, this one. This is not black. Green, but this time. They would be black. I think yes. these are good yes. And how much yeah. do those yeah. cost? 2100 bucks. And the other ones cost 1800 yeah. Yes. Then so it really doesn't matter. No, yeah. no, no those would still be this is double the capacity the though. Right, then it I'm saying that it really doesn't, this isn't even an option anymore. Right. Yeah, but the 2100 is for It cost the effectively, they're not, it doesn't even matter what they are. Okay, so I this is the one that we're, the, are we the trustees motion? are going or to are recommend. Are you concerned about yeah. price in terms of our, just, our, yeah, our yeah. opinion? We like them. Well, you know what, the last one, Anna, is $6,000. Yeah, that's one. So, that yeah, am I concerned about price? When I get to that point, yeah, I am. But no, with that, I'm not. Capacity, aesthetics, yes. all, of them. all right. Can we agree on this? Oh, good. Yeah, I'm fine right. with that. Yeah. That's the one? That's yeah. the one. Okay. And it only comes in black? No, it comes in, hey, you can have blue. No, no. Yeah. 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 I think black. Fuchsia. Black. Fuchsia. Black. Fuchsia. 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 We got we gave you a recommendation. Oh, black. Burnt orange black. and black. No. Burnt orange. Yeah. Right. What do you want? Joe, thank you. You're you. welcome. Thank you for your work. Yes. Stay yes. tuned. All right. Uh, is there any other uh, new business to come before the trustees tonight? Hearing none, let's move on. Uh, other business? Do we need to vote on this? No, 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 we already did. Oh, now we're going to sign on it. Uh, we're going to take care of that when we sign. We voted on it when Kerry read the whole thing. Um, okay. Did you say okay, let's move on to approval of minutes. Right? Yes. So, wait, what are you saying? Beth, Beth says that we haven't voted on this. That we have to vote. Add. I thought we were going to. That motion might not, it depends on if that motion is. Valid. Valid. Okay. So you want a motion to place this ad? Yep. A motion to place the ad along. I move to place the ad. I don't. I don't mind. Don't seem the on the more. No. A I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Play replacing the ad. All right. Uh, let's move on to the minutes of June 11th. 
first, I think. On June 11th, on yeah. 33 and 40, line 45, there was five of us here, but it only says four zero zero passed. It should be five. Um, because the first two, um, Anna yeah. was not here yet. But you said she came in at seven o five. Seven o five. You guys moved quick. Like she was not here for those. Okay, then you know yeah. more than me. That's fine. Okay. Because I I made that correction before she came in. Then the next thing on line fifty eight a. Are we talking about Joe as Mr. Di Natale or Anna as Mrs. Di Natale? What? Ms. Di Natale. Well, there's a difference there. <laughs> well, because he sure. says he wasn't here. And then another one is creamy is spelled differently on line 110 and 111. Wow. Yeah. Should I leave? Yes. I was bored today. I guess so. Well, you missed number 74. <laughs> no, I'm still not done. <laughs> On this is the same. It? This is the same one. It's funny because I copied. Oh, so then you could do yours, but then I have another one. Yeah. Oh, so just drop the D on and, and in line okay. seventy-four. The line D and and in seventy-four. Uh, also, and increase in volume. Wait, seventy-four, and it should be and increase in volume, not and. Are we on June? June eleventh still. Line seventy-four. Also, and, okay. and then on line 186, it says Mr. Agan asked if the sidewalks are going to be painted. You mean the crosswalks? That's a good catch. Oh, there's Sorry, one under, it's, it's under A2 with Chief Blish in that same where, section. Where, what do you under where you just changed Mr. Agan. Sidewalks being painted. It's um, under there. Yeah. Thank you. Crosswalks, sidewalks. Parkways, driveways. All right. Any others? All the same. Very good. Not on that one. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do the minutes all together then. So let's let's continue on. Um, we can prove them all together. Um, June 20, uh, June 18th, joint meeting. I had no corrections on this myself. I couldn't find any there. Okay, anybody else? Any corrections on June 27th, the joint meeting? Yeah, upside down pages. <laughs> 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 any, uh, any valid corrections? No, that wasn't even a correction. That was just something to say that was funny. Nope. All right. I make um, a motion to approve the minutes with the corrections that we've brought up. All three date on all three dates. On all three dates: the twenty seventh, the eighteenth, and the eleventh of June. Second. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion carries. The minutes. All three minutes are approved. Um, so at this point, we uh, we'll send a motion to uh, adjourn pending uh, signing of the expense warrants and the motion regarding the moratorium. moratorium. I make uh, so moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We adjourn at 8:34. Good job, Jeff. Thank you, Phil.